Sometimes we need to revisit the past in order to protect the future. Peter Staley went from a young trader on Wall Street to a crucial figure in a radical advocacy group that literally made life-saving medication affordable for those living with HIV and AIDS. After being diagnosed himself in 1985, Peter joined ACT UP in its first days and helped create a movement. At the time, there were over 20,000 reported cases of HIV. It wasn't until two years later that a treatment hit the market. In March of 1987, the FDA approved AZT, the first ever treatment for the disease. Finally, there was hope. And because of Peter Staley's hard work, leadership, and radical protest, the cost of AZT was lowered by over 20%. Now, more than half of the global population living with HIV have access to treatment, the highest ever. Peter's core belief in helping those living with HIV or AIDS has always been knowledge equals power. Hi, I'm Javier Munoz, and this is Legendary. 40 million infected people is a plague! I decided to become a full-time AIDS activist. They say get back! We, we say, say fight back! They say get back! We say... Hello, I'm Javier Munoz, and I'm here with Peter Staley. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Act Up felt like cowboys, you know what I mean? Like warriors in armor with axes. I, I just remember that, that in my journey of sort of everything I was experiencing and, and when my partner passed thinking, watching how it happened and how stigma and how judgment and how lack of information and education took its toll from others, how they treated him and, and the dignity he fought to have through the end is what inspired me to, to, to become an activist before I became positive. And I remember trying to like, figure out like, who do, where do I fit in that spectrum, right? It's like, and because I feel like there's little bits of, little parts of me that could, could work for a number of, of situations and organizations. But like, that was my impression of ACT UP, was, was just like, we're gonna go in, we're gonna go in hard. ACT UP was like the, the tip of the spear, right? We, we, were, the, we were the most visible component of what was a much larger community response to the crisis. We were up against a wall of homophobia and racism. AIDS was happening to uh, fags, drug addicts, uh, prostitutes, it, it, groups that people didn't care if we lived or died. And so ACT UP realized that we had to confront America's homophobia. Talk about a challenge. Yeah. There is a man that could have prevented these absurdities. This man has said that he would like to see a kinder, gentler nation. Your actions are killing us. Your words are lies. 300,000 dead from AIDS. Where is George? And after we kick the shit out of this disease, I intend to be alive to kick the shit out of the system so that this will never happen again. Thank you. One of the coolest moments I went through was uh, getting back at, in a very cathartic way against the homophobia that uh, I felt uh, working on Wall Street. And I stayed in the closet, so I, you know, I, I, I didn't pay much of a price for it except psychologically. And that, that, that day after I had been uh, diagnosed, that day that I got handed that flyer for ACT UP, other traders had been handed the same flyer and I get on the trading floor and there's a discussion happening before trading starts uh, among the traders about AIDS. First discussion I think they've had. Right. And my mentor, the head trader on the trading floor, just viciously shut the conversation down and just said, well, if you ask me, they all deserve to die because they took it up the butt. And, and everybody was like, whoa. Yeah. So uh, I started plotting, and there was this one member of ACT UP who worked on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And I, and I said to him, I said, can you help me figure out how we can get inside? Wow. And, because uh, it had never been done before. He started looking at all the entrances, and we picked 
uh, the shortest path entrance, which is right under those famous columns. Wow. And, and uh, so the morning, you know, a few hours before that big demonstration outside, me and uh, six others, all dressed in suits. Yeah, in, in Wall Street drag, right. we called the it. Wall Street drag. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, we, had, we had these fake IDs, the, the trader badges, those white badges. We all worked for Bear Stearns. And uh, we had tested it and everything, and it worked. And we all just walked onto the floor with the last minute smokers before the opening bell. That's so smart. And two of us had cameras because we had to bring in our kind of our own press, sure. uh, little, little cameras to capture the moment. And five of us, uh, after we walk in and we mingle with the traders, we walk up this uh, uh, VIP balcony that's never used, this old wooden balcony that has a great NYIC banner above it. Wow. Great backdrop for, right. the, for I this was picture. Say, that's really good. <laughs> and, we, and we stay ducked down and, and we're looking for the opening bell in like 15 seconds. And then I say, go. And we, we stand up and we. We handcuff ourselves to the to, to the, the balcony, yeah. and we throw a banner over that says "Sell Welcome," uh, the the company, and then we have miniature foghorns, and we all s drown out the opening bell, and the whole floor just turns and goes, <laughs> <laughs> and and they became rabid. It's like their sanctum had been invaded. Wow! wow. And we took these hundred dollar fake hundred dollar bills and we threw them out onto the floor uh, and it said fuck your profiteering on the back and they just went berserk but standing there yeah. I knew at that moment that we 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 had done, oh, it. You had done yeah we yeah, had done, more than they, done they, it. Could, they, they, they were throwing shit at us they were wow. yelling faggot kill the faggots mm -hmm. all the things they could. Uh, yeah. yeah but I I was like well you know we're going to be on the front page of the New York Times <laughs> tomorrow morning. We're going to be on the front page of the Wall Street Journal tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> you can scream all you want, yeah. but right now you are pawns in our action. Three days later, the company lowered the price of AZT by 20%. So it was very, it was a very dramatic moment. And yeah. Act up! Fight back! Fighting! <laughs>